other uh, things we need to deal with we, before uh, doing our uh, uh, before performing analysis technique is missing value. Missing value is something that uh, we don't have responses from our respondent. So if we don't have uh, respond, responses for some cases or so, for some variable, so actually we have missing value. We don't have answer for these variables and from some specific cases. We have different uh, methods to deal with the missing value. Listwise and pairwise deletion, actually we delete missing values from our data set. In listwise, we delete the uh, we delete uh, all cases that at least have missing value in for one variable. For example, if we have three variables, x1, x2, and x3, and 100 the respondent for each one. But uh, for x1, case 2, 10, and 15 are missing. But we have answer for x2 and x3, 4, 2, uh, 5, and 15, right? Based on least wise method, we delete case two, five, and 15 for all analysis. Even only we have missing in one variable for these cases. But for pairwise, only we delete, only we delete missing value when we involve this case in our analysis. For example, we, for some analysis, only we use X2 and X3. So X2 and X3, we don't have missing value for case 2, 5, and 15. So we keep these cases for, uh, for the analysis is that only involve uh, only involve uh, x2 and x3 but for uh, this is for pairwise but for list wise actually we delete cases for all type of analysis either x1 involved in this analysis or This type of missing value, actually we miss, we delete cases. If you collected data from 100 uh, managers, right? And you have missing for some variables. So you have a small sample. Your uh, sample already is small and uh, is not possible to collect larger sample. Right? So if you decide to delete, you have some missing. If you decide delete your cases, so you mean that the, your sample will be even smaller. Right? So this should not be good strategy for small sample. And also when missing value is high, for example, you, you collected from 300, 400. But 10% uh, of your uh, uh, answers, your uh, data is missing. So if you want to delete, actually you need to delete the large sample of your, uh, large amount of your data. So these two deletion method and these two techniques that you delete uh, missing value and cases with missing value is only uh, applicable for less than 5% uh, missing value. Less than 5% missing value. So if you have missing value more than 5%, you have to apply under 
techniques. Other technique, actually we have uh, different techniques. Uh, one of the very common technique is mean replacement. When we have missing value, we uh, replace this missing part with mean of uh, uh, other answer to this variable. For example, if you have uh, 10 cases and two cases are missing, answer of two cases are missing, so you replace these two cases by mean value of other answers. But also for mean replacement, we have different techniques. We can uh, replace uh, by mean of all samples. We can replace by mean of uh, nearby samples. Uh, we can replace by actually the median of nearby points. So this replacement also we can apply different uh, technique for mean replacement. But even for mean replacement, if uh, your missing value, percentage of missing value is less than 20%, it's possible to use mean replacement. But uh, uh, actually, if it's uh, the percentage of missing value is high, uh, you have to avoid this mean replacement. And this mean replacement, uh, doesn't work well for high percentage of missing value. If your missing value is very high, more than 20%, we have another imputation methods. We have another methods and techniques to deal with missing value. Uh, for example, one of them that is possible to perform by SPSS is expectation maximization or EM method. So based on regression between uh, other cases, available cases, an answer to this uh, variable uh, calculates uh, the value for missing and replace this value based on this calculation. So this method is called the expectation maximization. So if, if uh, missing value is high, the percentage of missing value so it's better to use this uh, method. Because we have different uh, methods to deal with missing value. We have the list wise and pay wise that we delete all case or delete uh, uh, only uh, variable for case uh, based on analysis. So this is two uh, deletion technique that we use to deal with missing value, if all if the percentage of missing value is lower than five percent, if it's lower than five percent, but but if it's higher than five percent, we have to replace missing value, and we cannot delete. Also, deletion is depend on your case. Sometimes your sample is very low, small. So if you want to delete some of your sample, actually you miss part of your uh, data and you don't want to do it, right? So you want to replace. If uh, uh, your uh, missing, the percentage of missing value is lower than 20%, uh, actually you can use mean replacement. Uh, but uh, more than 20%, uh, literature actually doesn't recommend to use mean replacement. But the, even for low percentage, it's better to use advanced techniques instead of mean replacement and dele uh, deletion, right? Deleting uh, case or uh, data for each variable per case, right? Listwise or pay. Okay. But if you want to use the list wise or pair wise, you don't need to do anything. In analysis, you can choose uh, this missing, uh, uh, actually the valued uh, imputation techniques and uh, the software automatically will delete based on your choice, list wise or pair wise, and will go ahead with analysis, right? For example, for 
CA, uh, for example, for CA1, CA3. CA3, we have missing value, right? But the, before uh, computing a uh, community attachment, just I want to show you. Uh, if we want to do some analysis by CA3, later I will, I will explain this analysis technique, but now just want to show you. For example, we want to do the t-test for this uh, variable, right? When we want to do t-test for this variable, okay, for CA3, for example, CA3. And the t-test we can do based on two groups, gender, and we define one and two, okay. Here you have option, exclude case, cases analysis by analysis, or exclude cases list-wise. So pairwise and list-wise can be selected when you want to perform any analysis. So using these two techniques, you don't need to do anything for replacement or imputation of missing value, right? If you want to use these deletion uh, techniques, you want to delete your cases, right? So you can uh, choose one of these two and continue and uh, okay. But if you want to do replacement, you don't want to delete. You want to replace by mean or want to apply uh, uh, advanced uh, techniques. Uh, last week, uh, remember I you can see my screen, right? And PowerPoint. When I move to different uh, uh, tabs, you can see, right? You yes, can follow. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, last week we discussed this uh, actually test and requirement missing value completely at no, uh, random or missing value at random. So we discussed the pattern of missing value. If the pattern of missing value is uh, random pattern and uh, uh, doesn't follow a specific or systematic pattern, so we can apply. Uh, uh, we can delete, we can use pairwise and listwise, and uh, also we can use this EM technique, expectation maximization. But if uh, uh, our uh, data, our missing the missing value of our data, actually the, doesn't follow the, the specific, uh, doesn't, uh, is not uh, at random, and follow systematic or specific pattern, for example, we can see most of missing value based on a type of question happen for female or for specific group, uh, a specific age group, right? Or for a specific education level. So missing value pat, uh, follow a specific or systematic pattern. If we have this issue, we cannot use uh, EM or the uh, pay-wise or list-wise, and it's better to use replacement. So to choose the technique for missing value, we have to see uh, this, uh, we have to actually test this uh, missing value completely at random or missing value at random. Okay, so if we want to test this one, before choosing suitable technique. We have to go to uh, analysis, missing value analysis. Missing value analysis. If you click on missing value analysis, for example, for these uh, four variable, you have to click on EM. You have to click on EM and uh, click on OK. Here, in these tables, in these tables, 
Here you can see result of Little's MCAR, missing value completely at random test. So uh, this little M MCAR is a test for this, uh, uh, actually the missing value at random or missing value completely at random. And this is a significance level of this test. The interpretation of this test, actually the uh, null hypothesis for this test is uh, missing, uh, the pattern of uh, missing value uh, is uh, at random. This is null hypothesis. So if this value, if this value is lower than 0 0.05, if this, this is p-value, if this p-value is lower than 0 0.05, means our missing value is not is not at random so to be completely at random p value should be greater than 0 0.05 this value Okay, so this is for actually, this is to test uh, missing value at random, whether it's uh, uh, at random or not, or follow a systematic pattern. So for this one, p-value is lower than 0 0.05. It means missing value for these variables actually the follow a systematic pattern. This problem is because only we have one missing value here. So when we have just one missing value, always the pattern is a systematic pattern. So, because actually we don't have uh, any uh, criteria or number of missing value to check the pattern. Okay. But based on this test, you can check the uh, pattern of missing value at random or system, right? So, so it's better to use replacement. Replacement. Okay, so first method for missing value is uh, uh, pairwise or listwise. We can do in uh, during analysis. Uh, another method is replacement. Okay, if we test this MCAR and C replacement is the best method. For example, for CA3, we have to replace missing value for CA3 by mean. Okay. For mean replacement, you, we have to go to transform. Transform. And in transform, you have replace missing value option. When you click on replace missing value option, CA3, right? You need to choose your variable and transfer to this uh, box. So when you transfer CA3 to this box, the new variable will be uh, S mean uh, CA3, right? Or CA31 name will be CA31, or you can choose any name here. You can change CA1, CA31 to CA31 without missing. Okay. Now you can change different types of replacement. You can choose uh, mean replacement, nearby point, you can choose uh, median near point, uh, nearby point, linear uh, interpolation, and the uh, linear trend at point, right? 
So this is different uh, technique for replacement based on your data. For example, if you, you collect uh, some data from uh, different spots, different clusters, and you have uh, missing value, most of missing value in one cluster, one spot. And you know the perception of these people should be similar. Respondents should be similar. And you collected, two, uh, you collected 40 samples from this spot this location. So you can choose uh, miss mean of nearby point and here you choose for example 40. Right? So calculate missing value based on nearby point, mean value of nearby point. So we can click on okay. Right? Now oh, you have new variable here, CA31. Software didn't change the name because before it was CA31, right? So here you have new variable. And this new variable is after replacement of missing value. So if you want to use replacement uh, you have to uh, create new variable by replacing uh, missing value and use this new variable when you want to compute your when you want to compute your uh, main variable so this is a replacement that we can use in uh, SPSS another technique that is used actually for uh, um, when we have a high percentage of missing value is expectation maximization. For expectation maximization, we uh, can do the, go, we need to go to analyze missing value analysis. Okay, same as we did before. For this four variable, for example, we have missing value, or you can choose uh, all your variable, all your item, because uh, using the expectation maximization, we create a new data set. So if you transfer to here, you can click on variable, uh, no need to do anything, click on EM, don't, don't uh, change anything in first box, but here you can say complete data. So you can create a new data set. 